Hello guys, welcome to Autobot YouTube channel. So today we are going to learn more about how you can upload uh, the test case to the orchestrator and how you can schedule the test automation project. Okay, so we are going to cover all these topics in uh, the today's session. So it will be a little bit uh, lengthy video. So please try to watch the entire session to get more clarity on the test automation. Okay, so we are going to cover how to create multiple test cases in the test automation project. So we are going to uh, cover these two things with uh, a real time example using the UI bank uh, website as well as using the RPA challenge. Okay, so those are the two test cases that we are going to create and how you can publish the test cases to the orchestrator. So what are the steps that is required to publish to orchestrator and how you can create the test set and how to schedule the test execution in the orchestrator and how to link the test case to test manager to view the execution result okay so all these topics that we are going to cover in uh, the today's session so please do watch and if there is any confusion regarding the uh, topics please do comment in the comment section okay so let's start so the first step is we need to create an uh, uh, test automation project right so i'm going to click on test automation i'm going to name it like uh, mm, autobot demo test project okay autobot demo test project and if you want to give some description you can give it i'm not going to give any particular uh, description uh, click on create okay so uh, once i create the test automation project you can see uh, by default it has created a uh, uh, default uh, uh, test case let me open that so this is a plain test case right let me try to create a new one add test case so if you click on test case it will ask for the template okay so what should be the template for uh, the test case so whether you can choose a bdd that is behavior uh, data driven uh, so those who are familiar with the cucumber framework and all uh, they will be aware about what is bdd i already mentioned few uh, things regarding the bdd in the previous videos so if you haven't watched that the video please uh, go to our uh, uipath playlist and please do watch those videos okay anyway i'll be doing a detailed video on this bdd with a real time example okay so let me choose the empty test case here and i'm going to name this test case like a test ui bank okay next create and uh, let me rename this test case as test rpa challenge okay click on okay now we have two test cases so what i'm going to do is i already opened our rp challenge right so i'm going to enter few details here and i'm going to submit this form and inside the ui bank um, inside the ui bank i'm going to test the uh, login process okay so these are the two test cases that we're going to do now so for that i'm going to uh, record the session okay so record the rp challenge as well as i need to record the ui bank so for that what i need to do i need to go to app bar web recorder indicate an uh, element to auto detect the action right so i need to click on the page so it will auto identify all the elements inside the page okay okay so it has taken uh, the particular page then what is next step we need to type the name right so type into what is the type into first name so i'm going to enter like auto okay then i need to enter the second name that is bot okay then i need to enter the address
I'm just going to name it like okay one minute let me click on cancel let me record it again okay so let me put it like a uh, YouTube okay confirm then phone number okay uh, let me record it again because it has to take the anchor as the phone number okay because uh, this is a dynamic phone and these elements can get changed randomly okay so if you are not giving the proper anchor it will fail your execution okay so let me put it like 9999 confirm then company name let me click on it again okay company name auto port okay confirm then a rolling company rpa developer confirm email id autobot at gmail.com okay so these are some dummy data after that i need to click on the submit button right okay so that's it that's our first case so let me pause it and let me save it okay so now you can see the recording it's first opening the rpa challenge page then uh what is happening it's clicking on rp challenge input it's typing into that particular field so what we can do is we can remove this step actually it's not needed then type into first name uh, type into last name then type into address and type into phone number type into company name and uh, uh, then clicking on the submit button right so let me do one thing let me try to execute this particular test case run file okay you can see it has uh, properly identifying the element and it is entering the uh, values right so there is an issue while entering the role in company so let me go back and check what is the issue with that okay i think it ended properly but it took some time right mm, let me check type into company that is properly tagged and uh, roll into company it's not anchored right it may be the reason so let me do one thing uh, indicate the target on screen what is that rolling company right rolling company okay so now it has uh, selected properly click on confirm okay then type into email id then click on submit button so that's our first test case okay and let me go to test ui bank here what i'm going to do is i'm going to ui bank i need to enter the uh, username and password and i need to click on sign in okay so uh, here i'm going to do the negative scenario so i'll be entering with uh, different errors and we are going to uh, sorry a different uh, username password and we are going to check all the uh, error messages okay so let me record it so this is the page that we need to automate so we need to click on that okay okay i need to enter the username let me enter auto board okay confirm 
here I'm going to give one, two, three, four. Okay. Then clicking on sign in button. So we'll be getting an error like this login field. So let me get the tester. Let me get the tester to let me check what all things it has reported okay we are getting the message let me create a variable here let me put it like a error message okay so we created a variable then what i'm going to do i need to enter the result again that is auto port one confirm here the password also i am re-entering okay confirm and i need to click on sign in button okay so now uh, i think the value which i entered is wrong but uh, if we give the proper value it should sign in okay so I will change that and I will recheck it again. So let me uh, save and return to studio. Uh, okay, so I made few uh, changes like I changed the password. So now it is logging in properly. Okay, so let me explain the process that we are going to do now. Uh, we are going to uh, browse to UI Bank website okay then we are entering username and password so these are two wrong values and if we click on sign in value we will be getting the error message like a login failed so this is one validation okay that we need to do okay so let me do one thing uh, here we are getting the error message right so we can do an uh, assertion okay so we are going to validate whether we are uh, getting this particular error message so let me drag and drop this activity verify expression with operator so we are getting this error message inside error message right inside error message variable so let me use that error message and what is the error message that we need to get that is login failed okay so just consider like uh, after some deployment you are going to test this particular uh, login page and due to some uh, module changes you are not getting this validation okay uh, you are not get, uh, getting this error message and whatever values that you go into enter as username and password the system is allowing uh, to enter to that particular uh, portal okay so that is a security breach right so we are going to uh, validate if you are entering a wrong email username and password you are getting this error message or not okay so that part we have done so let me do one thing mm. Uh, okay let me do one thing let me log out from this portal let me execute this test case as well run file so it will be entering a wrong username and password and it will click on sign in button okay we got the login failed error message okay now it properly logged in okay so here in the output console we can see verification passed the expression error message with value login failed was used equal to the expression so this is how you can do the assertion inside your test cases okay mm, let me do one thing log out okay so now what i'm going to do is we have to go to project okay i'm going to uh, publish these two test cases okay to orchestrator i'm going to publish these two test cases so let me go to orchestrator mm, orchestrator okay i'm going to testing because as we know like if you are going to upload a test project it will be coming to testing right it will be coming to testing and if you are uh, uploading a normal uh, process it will come to automation right so 
this is a test uh, automation project so what i'm going to do is let me mark it as a publishable okay so before publishing what do you need to you need to select the particular test cases and uh, you need to mark it as a set as publishable okay so that part i did set as uh, publishable okay now what i need to do i need to click on publish button okay what should be the package name uh, this is the package name version okay uh, i'm going to publish to orchestrator okay fine publish okay publish successfully let me go back to orchestrator testing test cases okay here you can see two test cases right a few seconds ago we have published the uh, these two test cases from studio to orchestrator right so now what i'm going to do i am going to create a test set for this test cases right test set is nothing but it's a collection of test cases right so go to test set add test set i'm going to name it like uh, Autobot demo project okay this is for testing and uh, um, i need to select a project okay what is the project name project name is autobot demo test project right autobot demo test project click on next okay i need to select the test cases or test rpa challenge and test ui bank is selected i don't have any arguments okay so i don't need to select any arguments uh, click on create okay so now we have the test set ready okay so this test will be having two test cases and this is created just now okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to execute this test test set okay so it should execute the two test cases okay so you can see the first test case is running and another one is in pending state so let me go to ui path assistant here you can see it has started the processing of the first uh, test case Mm, so what is rpa challenge okay i think uh, yeah here it is working it is entering the values okay submit button now it should start the execution of second one second test case ui bank okay here you can see it is entering the values and it is doing the assertion now and it will enter with the correct username and password and it will sign properly okay so that's it let me log out from here mm, okay so to test execution got completed let me go to uh path orchestrator okay one got failed now. okay what is the error okay so let it be okay due to some reason uh, it got failed okay but uh, leave it so what i'm going to do now is uh, let me go back okay here you can see in the test execution uh, you will be able to see the uh, status okay so you we have executed the uh, mm, test set auto boat demo project and the result is failed because inside that uh, test set we have two test cases out of that one got failed if you go to details you can see the um, expanded version that is the first test case got passed and second one got failed that's why that uh, test set status is uh, set to failed okay one test case is failed that's fine okay so now what i'm going to do is in the test schedule we need to schedule the execution right so i will show you how you can schedule the test set before that let me go back here and we'll see what are the points that we already covered this one we already covered this one we already covered right and this one we already covered then this is the next topic like how how we can schedule the test execution so for that we need to go to test schedule so those who are familiar with the process scheduling uh, uh, we know like uh, if you go to automation and uh, there we can schedule the automation process right we can upload the process we can create the job and we can uh, uh, schedule that particular job to execute at any particular time so mostly for this testing and all uh, we'll be doing uh, this test execution during the non-business hours right so we can schedule to 
execute this uh, test set or the test suite uh, on every midnight okay so like that way we can schedule it for that what we need to do we need to go to test schedule we need to click on this add test schedule okay we can give a name auto auto port schedule okay give some description this is for testing okay and what is the test set that we need to choose so i'm going to choose this test set so inside this test set, uh, test set we have two test cases right so i choose that one and i'm going to choose the time uh, time zone as uh, chennai kolkata mumbai so this can be modified based on your particular region and like in which way that you want to uh, schedule it in every minute you want to execute or every hour you want to execute or uh, daily at what time you need to execute or weekly on what time you need to execute and if you want to exclude some particular day that you can exclude here and monthly uh, on particular day if you want to execute that also possible at what time and advanced means it will ask for the cron option okay here you can write the cron expression and based on that timing uh, it will execute so i already did a video on uh, the process scheduling inside that i, I explained like how to write the cron expression and what are these different parameters okay so if you hadn't watched those videos you can go to our playlist and watch those videos to understand how you can properly give all this cron expression and other values to properly schedule your process okay so i'm going to uh, select minute for this demo purpose and non-working day means suppose if you don't want to execute the test case on the non-working days okay it may be due to some holiday uh, you don't want to execute on that particular day you need to create a calendar okay non-working day calendar you need to create if you create it you will be able to see it in the program i already explained about this topic and we created a demo uh, uh, calendar in one of our videos so please go to your playlist and watch those videos okay and here there is an another button called disable schedule if you uh, enable this it will show the date and the time and this particular time the particular schedule will get disabled okay. so i'm not going to uh, enable it now you can click on add okay so here you can see just create a new schedule name autobot schedule and this is the uh, test set i have created and uh, every minute it should execute right so let me go to our page challenge okay here you can see it has started the execution so this particular schedule will work on every minute okay every minute it will work and it will generate the output so if you want to execute it in every uh, hour week, you can uh, choose that particular time then the particular schedule will get triggered on that particular time okay so this is how you can create the schedule uh, i hope you are clear about this uh, concept okay so that's it. I think the execution was completed. Okay. Let me go back. Okay, here you can see uh, it has uh, completed. So the next runtime will be emulated. Okay. So uh, like this way, if you are scheduling uh, your uh, test set, you will be able to see like what is the next timing for the execution. Okay. So let me do one thing. Let me disable uh, it now. Otherwise, it will execute every uh, minute. Okay, or if you want to uh, enable it again, you just need to go to this three dots and you need to enable it. Okay, and if you want to edit the particular schedule, you can click on edit and you can edit the file. Okay, that's it. And uh, this is how you need to uh, schedule your test set. And let me go back to test manager and uh, let me check whether the uh, execution result is generated in the test manager. Okay, so here actually we don't have any project and we didn't link the test cases to the test manager right so that's why we are not able to see any project as well as any output result okay so uh, to uh, view the result of your test schedule as well as for viewing the test execution result what you need to do you need to create a project here so let me create a new project let me name it like auto port demo okay i'm going to click auto port okay description this is for testing click on create that's it okay so now you can see a new project was created and that there is no uh, results or any values to display as of now so what i'm going to do now is 
Even though if you execute your test case again, it will not populate any result in your test manager, right? Because your test case is not linked to the test manager. So what I need to do? I need to go to UI first. View. I need to choose the test case which I want to link to test manager. I just click on this particular one. Link to test manager. Okay. Here you need to provide the test manager instance. I already did a video on how to link this test manager to UI Studio. So please watch that video. Test manager, click on connect. Okay, click on OK. Now uh, it will ask to which project that you want to link this particular test case. Okay, so let me go to test manager. Okay, so what is the project name? That is Autobot demo. Okay. So let me search for Autobot demo. Yeah. So I choose this project. So the particular test case will link to this particular project. <coughs> okay. I need to link this particular one also, right? Link to test manager. Autobot demo. Okay. Okay, so now these both these test cases are uh, linked to the test manager and to this project, right? So let me go to the board. Here you will be able to see the two test cases. Okay, so even though if you are not going to execute the test cases from here, uh, if you are executing the orchestrator, you will be able to see the result. Okay, so let me do one thing. Let me try to execute <coughs> the test set. Okay, so I'm going to execute it manually now. So even though if you're uh, executing manually or uh, with a uh, schedule, it should uh, link the or it, it should sync the automation result in the test. Okay. And we should execute this UI back. Okay, so that's it. Our execution got completed. And uh, let me go back to orchestrator. Here you can see the execution got passed. Both the test cases got passed. Right? So let me go to test manager. Let me go to the project. <coughs> okay, here you can see in the current date we have executed two test cases and 100 percent reach is with automation. Right? And it got as well. So here you can see two pass zero fit and zero no result in the uh, two team. right? And uh, here we will be getting a brief about the result like two tests for executor and two uh, pass the result is passed. Okay, and if you want to see more about it, just click on this. Okay, so it will give you the. Uh, here from here you can open up the test case as well as it will give you a brief about what the duration of the execution in which test case got executed and what is the result. Okay, here we will be getting a summary of the automation execution. Okay, so this is how you can link your test manager to the uh, test cases which are going to execute and you can view the results inside your test manager. Okay, so I think we have uh, covered all these topics uh now and just manage to view the execution process okay so i hope you are very much clear about all the topics that we discussed today if there is any confusion regarding uh, uh today's uh, topics please do comment in the comment section and try to uh, resolve your uh, problems okay so if you find this video useful please like the video please share with your friends and please do comment your valuable opinion okay and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So thanks for watching the video. Bye.